Hi, good morning. My name is Joe Nappy, and I'm a teacher at Monmouth Regional High School. Uh, I teach the ID 1800 class, uh, and I'm also my district's representative to the Diversity Council at Kane University. I just wanted to spend a couple minutes talking about the amazing relationship that I've developed with Adara Goldberg and Sarah Quickendale since they've taken over their position at the Holocaust Resource Center and running the Diversity Council. Uh, when I first started in the class, I was a little bit uneasy about what was going to happen with the transition from the prior leadership into Adara and Sarah, and I got to tell you, it was absolutely seamless. They did a phenomenal job of not only maintaining the standard of our relationship with Kane that we had developed in the past, but even expanding it. Uh, initially, uh, Adara reached out to me. Uh, about scheduling an opportunity for us to get a survivor in to meet with my kids. Um, and she set up for us a meeting with Albert Hepner, who is also a faculty member at Kane, who came down and spent an amazing amount of time with my kids, answered their questions, really developed a great relationship with them, um, and gave them a, a once-in-a-lifetime educational opportunity to meet someone who is a survivor of the Holocaust, something that we all know is even harder to do, you know, every day as it goes on. Um, and that's really been the standard of the relationship that I've had with Adara. It's always above and beyond. Uh, and same thing with Sarah. Uh, both of them encouraged me after our first year together to reach out to the United States Holocaust Museum to try to pursue their museum teacher fellowship program, um, which I did. Um, and with recommendation letters and some help on my application from both of them, I was accepted as one of 20 educators from around the country into the Museum Teacher Fellowship. Uh, it's been an amazing experience for me over the last couple of years, getting a chance to go down and study in Washington, D.C., really expand my knowledge uh, of the subject matter that I'm teaching um, and giving me an opportunity to use my expertise in the pedagogy to help young educators. This is something that Adar and Sarah put into action by organizing two conferences that I was then involved with after completing the program where I worked with experienced educators uh, to teach the Holocaust in order to bring about some of the new things that I've learned from the Holocaust Museum and the museum's teaching method to them uh, in order to increase the quality of their Holocaust education um, and to work with what was for me one of the most valuable experiences of my teaching career uh, with up and coming about to be uh, about to graduate teacher candidates on teaching the Holocaust and meeting the state of New Jersey mandate. Now these are just a couple of examples of the amazing things that these two women are doing uh, at the Holocaust Resource Center. I mean, I haven't even delved into the Diversity Council, something that is unbelievably important to not just me, but our district, um, as we deal with these new mandates um, on teaching about uh, LGBT and uh, disabled, uh, adding that into our curriculum. The uh, workshops that Diversity Council has offered have been invaluable. Um, they even moved the uh, LGBTQ a session online as a virtual session so that we could still attend that. I, I mean, both of these women do a phenomenal job in that center, um, and our relationship with Kane uh, and the relationship that my students have come to expect um, is really based around their hard work. Um, so I can't say enough good things about them, um, and if you have any questions and you'd like to reach out to me, uh, please don't hesitate to do so. My email address is jnappi at Monmouth Regional. Dot net, um, and you can feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of all the great things that I have to say about these two women, um, and they really are a, a wonderful addition to the Kane family. All right, thank you. Appreciate your time, and have a good day.